So we've already made it to mock draft number five. So I guess you can say things are getting pretty serious. So a couple things we got to get out of the way. First of all, draft order. I didn't pick it. I don't want to hear about it. Flat out. I just, I didn't pick the draft order. And I'm sorry other people don't like your team. I love your team. I don't know what your team is. I love your team. It's my favorite team. But I didn't pick the draft order, and I didn't do it to be malicious. I'm just letting other people pick the draft order so that I can dedicate the other 30 hours of my time into this mock draft into other things, like what player, what position, what you know, trades, and, bah, 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 and making a big, long video. Okay? I didn't do it. I'm sorry. Go talk to Tankathon, go talk to Vegas, go talk to people who are investing billions of dollars in getting this right, and tell them why your team, like everybody else's team, is getting so much better. <laughs> Anyways, also, Packer fans, please check out the Packernet podcast. You can find it at... I'm getting better. Eh, maybe not. Those places over there, as well as anywhere other place that you can find podcasts. Uh, please subscribe to this channel. Um, shooting for 2,000. But there's also this cool little thing that happens for me when I get to 2,500. But I won't be greedy trying to get to 2,000. So please subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell notification so that you find all the other videos once they pop up. Um, there's Packers as well as draft content. And if there's big, massive NFL news, I'll probably do that too. But it's kind of what the channel is. So pick and choose what you like. It's like a, it's like a buffet. Lastly, the camera. I know the camera sucks. I'm buying a new one. This it's a, it's a classic case of you get what you pay for, right? The camera it said all the right things. Oh yeah, 1080p autofocus. It's a garbage camera. This is what you get for like fifty dollars or whatever I spent on it. I thought that was a lot of money for a webcam. Apparently not. It's trash, and so it keeps doing this. Oh look, now it's not gonna mess up. Of course. Now it's perfect. Never mind. I don't need a new one. It's the best camera in the world. It's going to keep zooming in and out because it's a piece of garbage and it makes me furious. But there's nothing I can do and I'm not going to quit on the channel just because the camera's messed up. So, sorry it gets a little messed up sometimes. But anyways, let's do this. With the first pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Jacksonville Jaguars select Trevor Lawrence, quarterback, Clemson. You know, I, I went to Tankathon and I said, all right, what's the draft order? And they said, Jaguars are first. So I was like, well, I don't know about that, but okay, right? I would think Washington is probably going to be worse. There's a lot of teams I think could probably be worse than the Jaguars, but that's fine. Then I did a couple mocks, and it's the Jaguars, the Jaguars, the Jaguars, and they're getting Trevor Lawrence, Trevor Lawrence, Trevor Lawrence. And I'm like, all right, let's 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 see if we can mix this up a bit. So I went to Vegas. Vegas is like, no, nah, it's going to be the Jaguars. All right. And so I went to the Facebook group, and I said, look, you guys pick the draft order. Because you guys are complaining about it anyways. You pick the draft order for me. Unfortunately, I ran out of time, and I was like, I got to bail on this and just kind of hurry up. Anyways, they picked the Jacksonville Jaguars first. So... I look, I know Jaguars fans want this anyways. I'm just trying to mix it up to, to make it exciting, but maybe you don't want exciting. Maybe you just want Trevor Lawrence. But you know what? Maybe some other teams want Trevor. Share the wealth a bit, but this is where it stands. And look, it's going to get real crazy once the season starts, right? Because then I'm going to take an inc incredibly new draft order, which is really going to upset some people because you're going to have really good teams that lose and are suddenly going to be picking early. And I don't know. It's going to be fun for me. You're going to hate it, but it's going to be great. Um, but until we get some new information, which we're not getting much by way of college football for the rest of the season, um, but we're definitely not getting anything from the NFL until the NFL plays, and we still have several weeks for that. So probably going to be Trevor Lawrence to the Jaguars for at least uh, a month, another month. So it is what it is. With the second pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Washington footballs select Justin Fields, quarterback, Ohio State. Now, I know Washington fans really like the uh, Penny Sewell pick. I like the Penny Sewell pick. I just, I actually mocked Penny Sewell. I, I had it written in. I was moving on to the Bengals, and I was just sitting there, and I'm like, I can't do it, man. 
There's no way we're picking number two overall and still rolling with Haskins. I just, I, why? I mean, best case scenario, I mean, the only way that could possibly work is if he got hurt all year and they're like, no, 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 he's really, really good, trust me. If he does, you know, maybe you guys won, although, I don't know, you won three games with Haskins and Haskins got hurt and then you went over for the rest of the season. You had three wins by the end of the season and you're picking second and I we can come up with all kinds of dream scenarios, but I think if you're picking number two, you're taking Justin Fields, and that's all there is to it. I just, I can't do it. I can't give you a tackle when your quarterback got you, like, two wins. So, Justin Fields it is. With the third pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Cincinnati Bengals select Panay Sewell, offensive tackle, Oregon. Plenty of needs. But this is this is beyond a no-brainer. Um, Penny Sewell is, you know, as I've said a thousand times, arguably the best prospect in the draft. Um, I think, inarguably, right now, at least in terms of the the draft community consensus, the best non-quarterback prospect. Um, again, several needs, but I want to get this offensive line going. I like the weapons that we have with Tyler Boyd, with T. Higgins, with Joe Mixon. This is me assuming that we bring back Mixon and not Green. Certainly debatable, but either way, I like our weapons. If we can just get this offensive line going, I'm not saying we're going to be an elite football team, but I think we have the potential to be an elite offense, right? I mean, think about it. We've got an offensive line. Maybe we need some more stuff. I don't know. We got some pieces coming back. We got some more rounds. We can get guards and stuff, but we've got an elite left tackle now. We've potentially got a pretty good right tackle. Again, the weapons are solid. The quarterback hopefully is is top tier why can't it be an elite offense and then once you got that i mean we're, we're at least in playoff contention right really good offenses with pretty bad defenses packer fan i'm pretty sure you can get by with that so we'll keep building but that's that's the direction i want to go again the, the pick itself is obvious but it also is the absolute perfect pick in, in, in terms of what, the direction i want to go anyways let's get the offensive line rolling That'll get the offense going. That'll get the team going. And then as we go, we'll get this defense figured out. But um, protecting the quarterback, and, and well, I'm repeating myself, but you get what I'm saying. Very, very excited about the pick. Well, the fourth pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Miami Dolphins select Gregory Rousseau, edge rusher, out of Miami. So Sam Nonenberg in the comments section was talking about me taking, I think I took uh, Jamar Chase in the last mock early. And he said, although he, he is fine with the pick, why don't we focus on the few defensive pieces that are here and then, you know, use the depth of the, the wide receiver class to grab another wide receiver later. So in this particular spot, I think that makes perfect sense. There are not very many edge rushers, and I'm going to be talking about that a lot in this mock. They're just, I mean, not just edge defense in general. There's not many, and so that kind of influences teams maybe going a little bit early, whatever. Um, but in this spot, especially with there only really being, at this point, one elite edge rush prospect, um, debatable, but 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 not really. Let's go ahead and get that piece. It's a key piece. It's a piece that we need. And then we'll focus on other stuff later on. But, uh, yeah, with the fourth pick, we're getting top-tier edge rush Gregory Russo. With the fifth pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the New York Jets select Jamar Chase, wide receiver, LSU. So in my last mock, I took EJ1's advice. I got you guys a cornerback, which I really agree with. Um, depending on where you're picking, I think that would be hugely beneficial. The one thing that I've been resisting is what a lot of Jets fans have been saying, and that is we need to get Darnold weapons. I've been resisting it because you've got guys like Crowder and Perriman that I like. I like Rashad Perriman. I thought he did a great job. Um, Crowder isn't an elite wide receiver, but he's a good wide receiver. So I just, you know, as many needs as you guys have, that's kind of low on my list of priorities. But I wanted to get you guys what you wanted. Here's the thing, though. If we're going to go out and get Jamar Chase, and we have Perriman, and we have Crowder, and we have Le'Veon Bell, and uh, if our quarterback, if Sam Darnold doesn't improve, and I, I, I get the, maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm reading this wrong. I get the impression Jets fans believe that that Darnold is the solution. He just doesn't have the weapons. I, I, I just, I don't think he's that good. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. But if we get him the weapons, 
and there's still problems, we got to at least start considering the idea that maybe Darnold isn't the guy. I'm just throwing it out there. At some point, it's the quarterback's fault. So we're getting Jamar Chase, and we're removing all the, the excuses, and we're saying, Sam, this is it now. This is it. You got plenty, okay? Make this thing work. That's all I'm saying. With the sixth pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the L.A. Chargers are going to accept a trade from the Arizona Cardinals, who are going to give up a sixth-round pick to move from pick 12 to pick 6. And with the sixth pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Arizona Cardinals select Sean Wade, cornerback, Ohio State. Now, as I've been saying, and, and again, a lot of people like Farley, but I've been doing the board I use, as you probably know if you've been watching, is an aggregation. It's one that I do, right? I go out and I find all the big boards and I aggregate it. As much as a lot of people want to say they like Farley, I cannot get him up even in the top 15. He's lingering in the 20s and whatnot. So I'm still operating with the assumption that there's only two. There's two cornerbacks, and the Cardinals are sitting at. Uh, Number two, as far as passing yards given up by the defense, only behind the Detroit Lions, and they were graded as the second worst coverage defense by PFF, only behind the Dolphins. So this is a huge issue, and if there's only two, and we're sitting at 12, and the Chargers are calling around because they desperately need offensive line, and I got nobody that, that, you know, and I I need to move back a bit, quite a bit, because there's just nobody right now, at least, again, as far as the board is concerned, at offensive line for the Chargers. So I want to move, and I want to move back quite a bit, and I get another second-round pick out of it, which is fantastic. But they're calling around. This is a great opportunity, right? we we got to go up. we got to get some help. Otherwise, what are we going to do? We're we're too early for Farley. We're too early for Javon Holland. If we're going to fix this issue, which I think is probably our our biggest weakness on this team, and we could get help for our offense and whatnot, but... You're not going anywhere with the second worst pass defense in football, possibly the worst pass defense in football. You're not going to get anywhere. You're not going to get into the playoffs. You're not going to win in the playoffs. You're not going to win in the Super Bowl. You can't do it. So, Sean Wade, cornerback, Ohio State. With the seventh pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the New York Giants select Patrick Sertan, cornerback, Alabama. So, already kind of speaking up for the Cardinals jumping up, right? We want to move up, not just because they're not going to make it, but the Giants, there's a good chance they're going in this direction. Now, I had him taking an edge rusher last time. I know uh, Kalel Rocks in the comments said he didn't really like that. I think it's a big need for the team, but he laid, laid out a couple other ideas, big wide receiver, cornerback, or Creed Humphrey, but we're not taking Creed Humphrey right now, and we're certainly not taking a bit. There's not even that many big wide receivers unless big means over six feet, which isn't that big. Um but there were some other comments, and, and the, the one common thread that they all had was cornerback, which also happens to be one of the best players still available. I agree it's a massive need, so it's kind of a no-brainer in that regard. Um, if there was a different situation, like if, if Gregory Rousseau was still available, I'm probably taking Rousseau over Sertan. But in this situation, I kind of think it's a no-brainer. You guys need a lot of help on defense. Um, I know Giants fans are real mad about, I don't trying to be positive here the the Giants need a lot of help on defense I don't think even Giants fans disagree with that regardless of the position you guys need some stuff cornerback Patrick Sertan I mean it's an easy pick I don't need to over explain this forgot my music man it's kind of sad I like my music though so we're gonna we're gonna keep it going with the eighth pick in the 2021 NFL draft the Detroit Lions select Trey Lance, quarterback, North Dakota State. I know a lot of people are going to get mad. A lot of people are very sad about it. Look, even as a Packer fan, I would I would hear this and it would just kind of be sad a little bit, you know? Like, Stafford deserves better than this. His career, come on. He's too good of a quarterback. I'm not saying he's an elite quarterback because he's not. But he's too good of a quarterback to be on a team that's just... I mean, I'm not saying they're a joke because I think that that's nice (laughs) it's just I mean it's kind of common knowledge you guys know right I mean you know I feel bad about it I do the rest of us the 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 rest of the the division would love for you guys to give us some competition but anyways it would be sad to see it but let's be honest about it if you're picking eight 
If you're picking eight, I'm only doing this because you're picking eight. If you're picking eight, we all can agree Matt Patricia's gone. He's gone. Your GM, gone. You're you're starting over. Now, are they going to be able to, are the Fords going to be able to find quality people? Even though I know you've got a new a new Ford taking over, like that's going to make a difference because she's not even making the decisions anyways. They got some company man from the Ford company who's still going to be making all the decisions and they're all going to be the wrong decisions. Anyways, new regime is coming in. Maybe you'll get lucky, right? Broken clock is right twice a day. They got to go in a different direction. Matt Stafford has several years left on his contract, but you know in 2021 Stafford can play Trey Lance can sit. 2022, you guys are going to be out six million bucks if you move on from Stafford. Six million, and you're going to save what, like 25, 20, something like that. A lot of millions of dollars to move on from Matt Stafford, who's going to be like 35 years old. I mean, because you're picking eight, it makes sense. That's all I'm saying. All right, you're probably going to be really good this year, though. Like really good. That's only a little bit sarcasm because I actually do like your roster. I've been saying that for a while, but it's, it's, come on, man. Lions are like the little brother. You love them, but you got to pick on them a little bit because it's funny. You'll be fine. Trey Lance is going to be great. You're going to love him. With the ninth pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Carolina Panthers select Micah Parsons, linebacker, Penn State. So I feel like I might have really upset two fan bases with my last pick Trey Lance because all my Panthers fans comments are Trevor Lawrence we really want to get Trevor Lawrence or I think Justin Fields would be better than Trevor Lawrence or I actually really like Trey Lance I mean I apparently I I don't know I I like Teddy I think Teddy could be decent but Panthers fans are all in on this quarterback class, so I'm sorry that I, I caused you to miss out on all the quarterbacks. If you're drafting at, at nine, there's a good chance that you're going to miss out because even if Trey Lance isn't really worth it, if he's potentially a starting quarterback, I mean, teams are going to trade up and they're going to want to get him and whatever. But I hope that I redeem myself because Micah Parsons is arguably a top five talent you're getting at nine really really quality football player i know you guys know how beneficial an elite linebacker can be if anybody knows that it's the carolina panthers fans so i'm hoping i redeem myself you're going best player available and when you're a team that has a lot of needs just grab all the talent you can get And when there's an elite guy sitting there take elite always take elite right there's there's some situations where you know if there's an elite quarterback and you just drafted a quarterback you can't do it but in this case you have no linebackers that I'm looking at it going, ooh, yeah, we don't need that. No, you just we're, we're taking them. It's gonna be gonna be great. With the tenth pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Las Vegas Raiders select Marvin Wilson, defensive tackle, Florida State. So I'm sorry for the lack of originality. It just kind of is what it is. It's a tough spot. There's not a lot. You know, Deck Train in the comments was saying we need a safety. You know. It's, it's too early for Javon Holland or Caden Stearns or any of that. So we're sitting at 10, and by far the best player on the board is Marvin Wilson, and you guys could use a defensive tackle. So we can try to trade out of the spot, or we can just take a guy that's had a position of need that's a good football player. I don't see any reason to trade out of a spot when we can just get a guy. So my desire to try to mix it up for Raiders fans didn't quite trump my desire to just do the right thing. And in this case, I just think this is the right thing. So that's what we're doing. With the 11th pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Denver Broncos select Dylan Moses, linebacker, Alabama. Um, the only thing I could think to do to help your offense would be to get a new quarterback. And I know Broncos fans don't like that. You guys are all in with Drew Locke. So we'll let that play out. Plus, there's no quarterbacks available anyway. So the only thing we can do is focus on, strangely, because this is a very offense-heavy draft, but we've got a uh, defensive player sitting right here, and I think it's a great fit. Alexander Johnson and Todd Davis are both kind of getting up in age. They're both going to be free agents. Fangio's going to be extremely excited. We know he likes his linebackers with the Bears. They went out and got Roquan real early. Um, I, I really like your defense, but... Um, I feel like if there's an area that we can really try to improve, it's linebacker, and he's just sitting right there. I mean, it's just it's somewhat of a no-brainer pick for me. With the 12th pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the uh, L.A. Chargers are back on the clock after trading from pick six, picking up another second-round pick. And with the 12th pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Chargers select Creed Humphrey, interior offensive lineman, Oklahoma, 
pretty straightforward, right? The only real debate here is should we be taking a tackle based on the board? And as I've said before, if you want to check out my board, I'm going to be posting an article probably Monday, Tuesday, whatever. Um, it'll have it's on fan2fannetwork.com. It'll have um, my full board with this video embedded in it. So if you want to see how the board lays out, and the, you know, I mean, specifically based on all the different boards aggregated out, um, the tackles are just they're just lower. So it's a matter of should we reach on a tackle like Leatherwood, um, or should we just take the best available player? And I think Creed Humphrey is a very good player. I think he's a very good value. We need him. We're gonna draft him. With the 13th pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Atlanta Falcons select Carlos Basham, edge rusher, Wake Forest. So this is kind of the, this is kind of what I was talking about. About you know the defense is going to play a, a major role in how this draft plays out because there's so few defensive players. Out of the next, there, there there's only five defenders left on my board in the top 36. For, I mean, from now until the top 36, there's not many left. So. For a team like the Falcons that needs a lot of help on defense, we're we're probably going to reach. I mean, we could try to trade, but again, if you trade and lose a guy, it's like now we have four left or three left, depending on how far back we trade. So it's just, you know, the, I know the Falcons have said in the past that they're willing to draft based on need as opposed to best player available, although I'm sure there's a mix of both in there for every team. But um, they're not shy about saying that. And so I think it kind of makes sense what direction and what defensive player you go, you can kind of mix it up. But I, I think Basham is, is arguably the best, next best defensive player. It's still a need for the Falcons. We've, we've tried to get some edge rush going. We've really, we've really struggled. So we're going to try again, and uh, best of luck. With the 14th pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Miami Dolphins with their second pick, this time via the Houston Texans select Jalen Waddell, wide receiver, Alabama. So I said in the beginning of the video, we're going to try to get a defensive player. We're going to use the depth of wide receiver in this draft class to wait until the second pick or possibly second round, but we'll see how it goes to get our wide receiver or to get a wide receiver. we got a lot of needs. But this particular mock is really great for teams that want wide receivers because guys are falling big time. This is the number two wide receiver going all the way to 14, just based on certain circumstances. I don't know. That's kind of the fun of mocks is based on different things. They can really change the dynamic of a mock i've had wide receivers go real early this time they're really falling and that's spoiler alert that's going to happen throughout this mock so um we got gregory russo early now we got our quarterback another wide receiver weapon in jalen waddle and the alabama connection should be a lot of fun to watch with the 15th pick in the 2021 nfl draft the cleveland browns are going to ex accept a trade from the jacksonville jaguars the browns wanted to move back quite a bit further but just couldn't really find him a good enough partner. The Jacksonville Jaguars are going to move up from 17 to 15, just a, a small little move. But the Jaguars are pretty desperate, so they're going to give up a fourth-round pick to move up two spots. The Browns, again, it's as good as it gets. But with the 15th pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Jacksonville Jaguars select Alex Leatherwood, offensive tackle, Alabama. Why do they want to move up so desperately to get Alex Leatherwood? There's really only two offensive tackles left with first-round grades, and the other one is sort of back end. And with the Bears coming up, although they have several needs, one of them is offensive line. So having just drafted Trevor Lawrence, the number one priority is to help Trevor Lawrence. We're not going to mess around. We have uh, two fourth-round picks, so we're just going to give up one of our fourth-round picks to the Browns. We're going to jump the Bears. We're going to grab the tackle. Just make sure that we get what we want. Pretty simple. With the 16th pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Chicago Bears select Rashad Bateman, wide receiver, Minnesota. Again, decent amount of needs, but the wide receivers are falling quite a bit, so, you know, quarterback is an option but there's no real quarterbacks available so we're we're not going to I mean one option is to trade way back and grab a quarterback but do you really want a second round quarterback to 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 be that desperate or should we just grab a a need that is a great value that you know whatever quarterback we have going forward 
it's going to help. I mean, it's just, it's not a great spot, but we need a wide receiver, and Rashad Bateman is a fantastic value at 16. So, you know, if, if our plan is with our 16th pick, we're going to transform the franchise, I got nothing for you. I'm really sorry. I wish I did. But, I mean, this is a, a great pick. And I've already talked about Allen Robinson and the fact that he may not be getting a new contract because he hasn't heard anything. But forget all that. Even if he does, you got Allen Robinson and Rashad Bateman. Maybe we just go back into it, because 16 isn't that bad, right? We just barely missed the playoffs a little bit. Maybe we just reload on this thing. Maybe we stick with the quarterback that we have. We move on from Trubisky, and we just roll with Foles. Roll with Foles. I mean, I don't know. You guys figure that out. You guys, you can get the t-shirts going. Um, but we, we just reload. We, we still got the defense. Foles is capable enough. Offensive line, wide receiver, tight end, right? We, we work on these weapon-type areas and building around this quarterback, and we, we just go back into it. Maybe we got something here. I'm being optimistic, but I we don't have a quarterback option, so let's, let's just go back into it, man. Let's go for it. With the 17th pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Cleveland Browns are back on the clock. Again, wasn't able to move back as far as I wanted, but with the 17th pick, the Browns select Jalen Twyman, defensive tackle Pittsburgh um it's not exactly what I was shooting for but I don't mind the pick again there's not a lot of defensive players left we don't really have a long-term talented solution along the defensive line right depend I'm trying to be generous here because I don't know what you guys think about certain players but either way who's the really young up-and-coming talented guy you don't really have one and this is only going to help Miles Garrett the problem with Miles Garrett isn't that he's not one of the most talented pass rushers in football, because he absolutely is, but it's just so easy to, to focus exclusively on him. You get another guy along the defensive line that's going to be able to be a presence, a guy that you're going to have to plan for and watch out for, it's only going to help. It's going to help against the run. It's going to help your pass rush. And, and to be honest, again, I don't know what's going to happen with the Browns. I really like your roster. You've got a lot of potential here, but picking at well originally you were 15 obviously the season didn't go very well but we got to do something and i'm thinking the defense is probably the biggest issue so jalen twyman defensive tackle out of pittsburgh with the 18th pick in the 2021 nfl draft the minnesota vikings select caleb farley cornerback virginia tech so according to my board this is a little bit of a reach but i think a lot of the draft community is already thinking why in the world is he not gone by now i don't know what it is about Farley and, and not being able to get him up. I already talked about that. But anyways, outside of that, even though it's a little bit of a reach, this is beyond a no-brainer, right? I mean, there's interior offensive line, but there's no real... There is an interior offensive lineman, but this is this is, this is is the pick. I wish I could elaborate, but do you disagree, Vikings fans? I don't think you do. So, you're welcome. With the 19th pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Indianapolis Colts select Pat Fryermuth, tight end, Penn State. I really wish I had a way to elaborate on this, but I, I just I mean, the fact that you're picking at 19 means something went wrong. What is it? There's no quarterback that I can give you, although I don't think that would be the problem. I love your offensive line. Um, wide receiver, I, I made the mistake of getting you a wide receiver once before, and everybody yelled at me, so I didn't do that again. Um... But that certainly is an option. The defense, I don't, I don't know, man. There's not a lot of options along the defense. I just think a really good tight end. I've talked about this before, but you've got the offensive line. You've got the running back, a really scary running back behind one of the scariest, especially running the ball, mauling offensive line, an upgraded quarterback. Just just the the threat of the, what, what am I trying to say? The, like the big boy offense. You know what I mean? Forget the wide receivers. Big boy offense, offensive line, running back, tight end. That is sort of the identity of this offense as far as I can tell. And I just, I feel like even if, even if you guys said we want a wide receiver too, like really badly, I'd still probably take Fryermuth or some tight end, whichever we deem the best. Again, the, the board has Fryermuth at the top. I'm starting to get a lot of heat for that. Um, some people like other guys, but again, It'll probably shift, right? These things always shift as time goes on. But right now, there's not a lot of movement with the boards. Anyways, that style of offense, what direction they plan on going, I don't know. But it just makes sense because of what you've already built. This offensive line, a smash mouth, 20 carry per game running back. Just add a tight end like Fryermuth to that mix. I just feel like it'd be lethal. 
So if I'm wrong, tell me, but it would scare me. I don't want to play that. With the 20th pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Tennessee Titans select Javon Holland, safety out of Oregon. So Kevin Byard, I think, is the real deal, but I'm really not sold on Kenny Vaccaro. Beyond that, there's a really serious run on defensive players for a reason. There's not many left. In fact, Holland is my only other defensive player in my top 32. So the Titans are looking to add some pieces. I think the defense is a good direction to go. Um, again, we've got one safety, but I'm not so sure about that second spot. And um, if we're going defense, it's Javon Holland or Bus. And Javon Holland's a very, very good football player. So this is not one of those things where maybe you wanted a different position more, but um, based on the board, it's, it's not a pick that you're going to regret. You're just not. With the 21st pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Buffalo Bills select Rondale Moore, wide receiver, Purdue. So the Bills can go in a lot of different directions, but I feel like having the wide receivers fall as much as they are is somewhat of a dream scenario. You know, we, we've got Brown and Beasley and Stephon Diggs. Maybe that's all going to pan out, but only one of them is really a sure thing in my mind. Obviously, that's Stephon Diggs, but he's a very high volatility guy that just forced his way out of Minnesota, which really wasn't that bad of a situation. Minnesota was going to the playoffs and doing pretty well. I know the Bills have been going, but I mean, if I had to choose an offense, I'm choosing Minnesota. And he just, he's throwing temper tantrums all the time. He's not getting the ball. It wasn't a good throw. And he just throw a fit every time you lose. And so he just decided, I want out. And threw a temper tantrum and forced his way. I just, I don't feel good about the wide receiver situation, including Stephon Diggs. So we're going to get Rondell Moore. And I think worst case scenario, we've got a whiny, complainy Stephon Diggs with Rondell Moore. And it's a pretty dynamic duo. And, you know. It just is what it is. I don't think Stephon Diggs is going to force his way out again because then nobody's going to take him. But you're going to have to put up with some stuff with that guy. He's just, I'm I'm glad he's gone for more than one reason. With the 22nd pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the New York Jets via the Seattle Seahawks select Paulson Adebo, cornerback, Stanford. So I decided to go wide receiver with our first early pick instead of going Wade or Sertan. Um... So I'm going to try to make up for that for those that really want corner and grab another corner. It's just a little bit of a reach. He's kind of an early second round guy, but, um, you know, I want a corner and I want to apologize to those that are mad at me for not getting Wade. <laughs> so I got you a Debo, a Debo, a, a whatever. I got him. You're welcome. With the 23rd pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Philadelphia Eagles select something on the wall. Travis Etienne, running back, Clemson. Um, I don't really know how much stock the Eagles are putting into their running backs. Obviously, every team needs a running back. But I think if the answer to the question is a little or more, we got to do something better. Because I'm just looking at your guys' backs and it's like, this is kind of ugly. And for a team that does run the ball a lot, and there's a difference between emphasizing the run and um, needing a really top-tier running back because a lot of teams that emphasize the run are scheme-focused and they use committees and everything's fine. But I still think we need somebody. Now, maybe we don't have to go ETN in the first round and we can go second or third round. But first of all, I really just want to smash this, right? Just, just smash the issue. Like, this is a problem. Now it's very much not a problem. In fact, it is maybe the, the focal point of our offense. Beyond that, we're not doing a second or third round, and I want to emphasize the point that I think it'd be cool to get a running back. So I haven't done it yet, so it's something to play with. It's something fun. I know some people like Najee Harris more than Travis Etienne. Again, it's an option, but uh, based on the board as it stands, Travis Etienne is the guy. With the 24th pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Green Bay Packers select Samuel Cosme, offensive tackle, Texas. Um, I really, really, really like the pick because it feels like a very Green Bay Packers pick. There is Devonta Smith still on the board. Still, at pick 24, he's still sitting there. Every Packer fan in the universe is watching this draft saying, just, just he's there. He's there. Please take him. And what do they do? they get an offensive tackle because the Packers like going edge rusher, tackle, quarterback, corner, 
safe. You know, it, it, they don't like you know linebackers and wide receivers and running backs, and they're just never going to do that. Um, also, as I've been saying, offensive tackle is a very big need. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen with these contracts coming up with the coronavirus and all that kind of stuff and the financials. David Bakhtiari, you assume he's going to get re-signed, but even if he does, we got a right tackle situation to figure out. And you've got Matt LaFleur, who's going to want to rebuild this offensive line um, and to try to get it going as far as being a little bit more of a run-centric type team. So we're going to start that process, and we're going to go out and get Sam Cosme out of uh, Texas. With the 25th pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers select Wyatt Davis, offensive guard, Ohio State. So with the Buccaneers, it really just comes down to where are we drafting. All right, if we're drafting really late, then we're going to reload. If we're drafting early, it didn't work out. We might need to start looking other directions. We're picking 25, which means we made it to the divisional round. So I'm going to roll the dice. We're going to reload this thing a little bit. And when I look at what the team needs Tom Brady is not really working with the greatest offensive line in the world. It's not the worst, but it could use some upgrading, and I think Wyatt Davis would do a lot of good in terms of getting him a little bit more time to get the ball to these weapons, as well as, hopefully, getting a little bit more of a running game going. With the 26th pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Dallas Cowboys select Kyle Pitts, tight end, Florida. So it's the second time I'm doing a tight end. I think tight end just makes a lot of sense. Uh, I've talked about Mike McCarthy's love for it. I've talked about the offense being really solid, except for this one little minor detail. Although I wouldn't mind actually getting you another interior offensive lineman. If Wyatt Davis was available, I'd consider it because that is the strength of this team has been for a long time and it's starting to slowly erode and I don't want to let that happen. But in this situation, I'm going again. And Logan Mitchell in the comments actually said last time I would prefer Kyle Pitts over Fryermuth. So that makes it easy for me because Fryermuth is already gone. Kyle Pitts is the next best tight end perfect scenario with the 27th pick in the 2021 nfl draft the new england patriots select devonta smith wide receiver alabama so ridiculous fall down the board to get to 27 i've had the patriots take wide receiver the last three mocks i've had them take devonta smith two out of the last three mocks but what in the world am i supposed to do in this situation what in the world am I supposed to do? I actually considered, and before it, it dawned on me that he was even still available, um, maybe looking at quarterback, but we made it to pick 27. So we're deep in the playoffs somehow. I have no Cam, I guess. But we're going to reload and, and get Cam some weapons because obviously it's working. So, I mean, just, again, I, I hate to be repetitive, especially for a team later in the draft when you don't need to be at all, but... How do you not take Devonta Smith to the Patriots at 27? You don't not take Devonta Smith at 27. With the 28th pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Pittsburgh Steelers select Brevin Jordan, tight end, Miami. So the, the Steelers are hurting desperately at the tight end position. They certainly need some help. Uh, thank you to Robert Washington for the suggestion of getting a tight end. I think it's it's absolutely a need as I'm looking at it. I, I, I can't think of anybody that's going to break out of that spot. Uh, Giuliano Pedroso was also saying maybe Najee Harris would be a great option. I would really like to get him involved and I would love to be able to put him on a team like the Pittsburgh Steelers. But at the end of the day, I decided to go Brevin Jordan. I, I think Running back, we can make it work as it is. Not not that it's an elite player and not that I wouldn't like an elite player, but we can we can run the ball right now. We don't have a tight end to throw to. And Brevin is a little bit higher on the board. I know, blasphemy for a lot of people, but he just is. And so we're going to go Brevin Jordan. Tight end out of Miami. With the 29th pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the New Orleans Saints select Brock Purdy, quarterback, Iowa State. So it's another kind of heartbreaking kind of deal because you know what this is about, right? And as much as I'd love to say, hey, we're close, let's try again. We've been close, let's try again for, I don't know, 25 years. I mean, yeah, I know you won the one time, but I don't know, man. I just, I don't know. Is, is, is Drew coming back next year? And even if he is, we got to get a quarterback in that spot. And no, I don't like the quarterbacks you currently have. So, you know, I, I would love to go in a different direction, but I just it just feels like at some point we got to invest in it. And, of course, it comes down to, is Brock actually the guy? I'm not taking a quarterback just to take a quarterback. Is Brock a guy 
that we can play and believe can be a starting quarterback in the NFL? In this scenario, we're saying yes is the answer to that question. If it's no, then no. I mean, it's again, it's not quarterback for the sake of quarterback. It's we think this guy can be the next future great for New Orleans, and so we're just we're going to pull the trigger. It's got to happen sometime. With the 30th pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Baltimore Ravens select Trey Smith, offensive guard, Tennessee. So Stanley and Brown, I think, are arguably one of the better tandems at tackle in the NFL and extremely young, especially when you factor in age, 26 and 24 years old. Really, really nice. But the interior is not my favorite. So, you know, if we're going to be running the ball, we're going we're gonna to protect our quarterback, who there's some concern, right? When he takes off and runs, he's going to be taking more hits than most quarterbacks. We don't want him also taking hits when he's trying to stand back and throw. we got to protect him as best as we can. He's clearly the the centerpiece of this franchise that's that's the sky is the limit for. So we're going to build up this offensive line. We are the number one running team in football, largely because of our quarterback. But still, Trey Smith is the obvious answer here. You know, you, I've talked before about wanting to get more wide receiver help, but Hollywood seemed to come on strong toward the end, as, as some people in the comments were saying. And so we're going to give him a chance to blossom. We're going to just kind of roll the dice with what we have outside of that. We've, we've got solid tight end options. Um, and so, I, I you know, again, best case scenario to be able to help and support our quarterback, I think, is to build up this offensive line. So Trey Smith, offensive guard out of Tennessee. With the 31st pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the San Francisco 49ers select Caden Stearns, safety, Texas. I toyed with the idea of getting Najee Harris. Um, I just think it could be a real lethal addition, but it seems like the running back by committee thing seems to be working pretty well. So I'm going to stick with the safety thing. I haven't heard any real complaints. I know you've got two guys that are they are not young, but they're not old. They're not elite, but they're not garbage. So it's kind of one of those weird kind of things and I don't really know what 49ers fans think about safeties but I have a feeling that upgrading a safety is not really going to ruffle too many feathers and, and if we can get a real top tier guy and that's what I'm doing I'm taking one of the best guys available on the board who is a safety I don't see how it could hurt anything finally with the 32nd pick in the 2021 NFL draft the Kansas City Chiefs select Hamza Nasrul Dean safety Florida State um, again, we're going one of the better players available on the board. It's a defensive player, which is the side of the ball that I'd like to be on. It's not a, it's just not something you have to do. I know uh, people in the comments section have said that we need to get a, a better wide receiver um, to complement Tyreek Hill. So there's a lot of direc directions we can go. But for me personally, I still want to really hammer this defense. The defense did a great job considering what they have available. But it just seems too flimsy to me. It, it, it's worrisome to see teams just run up the score on the Chiefs, and then you have to depend on the Chiefs being so elite offensively to come back. That's just not a winning formula. It's the only time I can think of where a team built that way actually won the Super Bowl. Um, seen several times teams with just dominant offenses that, um, you know, when the offense is just off by a little bit, it just falls apart and uh, just goes to really show how elite this offense is to be able to just not really have a bad day and to just come out swinging and no matter how much you run up the score we're going to run it up even more um it's impressive but we, we we it's not a winning strategy man it just isn't we can't keep rolling with that so we're gonna start with safety because again it's it's probably one of the better players available and um just kind of get this this defense rolling a little bit so Thank you guys very, very much for watching. Please hit the subscribe button. we got a lot more of these coming. We're going to have second round mocks. i got some fun stuff planned. When we get to 2,000 subscribers, I want to do an all-subscriber mock draft, meaning you send in your pick for your team. Got to get in the Facebook group. Link is in the description. But I'm going to be selecting people. You pick the, the team. You send in the video. It's going to show up here. And then on our end, it's just going to be commentary on your pick. So I think that will be a lot of fun. And I want to get more involved with the, the viewers, but uh, to make sure that you're a part of that, please, again, hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell notification. Packer fans, check out the Packernet podcast. Otherwise, you folks have a great day, and I will see you tomorrow.